Today, I want to share my experience of MIT Data Science and Statistic MicroMaster program. This could apply to other MicroMasters programs from MIT. MIT MicroMaster programs are for online learners from anywhere in the world. Different from other online learning programs, it's also a pathway into multiple masters and the PhD programs all around the world. I don't know how much this credential would help with your application, but once you get admitted to certain programs, you could transfer the credits from your MicroMaster and accelerate your program. You could go to the MicroMaster website to check out the details and decide which MicroMaster to choose. There are 44 programs right now recognizing the credits for Data Science and Statistic MicroMaster, and I listed four of them here. The Data Science and Statistics MicroMaster programs has four courses plus one capstone course. From my experience, the workload of one MIT course is more than a seminar specialization in Coursera. You could check out my video on the comparison of Andrew NG Deep Learning Specialization versus MIT Machine Learning course. The list of courses are changing over time. A new elective course was added as an alternative to data analysis in social science course. Only after you passed all required courses, you could sign up the capstone course. If you pass, you will get your credentials with A or B or C ratings. The capstone course is basically four proctored test for all the four courses. To prevent cheating, you will be monitored through camera and microphone during the whole exam. You could refer to the course websites and a list of websites. However, um, you couldn't be able to refer to any printed or written materials. So this is something I don't like because I cannot go back to my notes and I have to spend some time preparing the cheat sheets using LaTeX. All of those courses are released only two or three times a year. So I would just suggest you to sign up early, especially in the capstone course. I have a friend who missed the sign up window for the capstone course and they have to wait several months for the next one. After you are able to sign up the course, make sure you follow the instructions on uploading certificates and etc. The difficulty of the capstone is about the same as the midterms and the finals of the previous four courses. So if you're doing well in the, those courses, you should be uh, okay with the capstone as well.